what is up y'all today i have a special guest who is going to take you through how to design a simple certificate using nothing but pizzle lab so without further ado let's jump into it What's up guys, you are welcome to Serene Arts. This is Nene J. Anthony. I'm happy to be um, an old student of Serene Arts here. Yeah. And today I've been given the privilege by Mr. Gosu Yamuzu, who is the founder, to host a video in how to design a simple certificate just like this one. Yeah. So if you are new to this channel, you should consider subscribing and turning on the notification button so that you won't miss any of the amazing videos coming on your way. So without much ado, let's begin. I want to start everything at first so that you know how we do it. All right, so let's start. The most important thing or the most crucial thing when designing certificates is the dimension. So from what I know, the dimension they use or the dimension of the sheet they use in printing is 877 by 620. 620. Yeah. Um, when you search on the internet, you will get a different dimension because they've measured it in um, inches. But this one, I had to convert it to pixels. Either way, it works. Even if you bring the inches here, it will work for you. So let's move on. So from here, I want to clear this test. Then, I'll start by designing the shapes that you saw at the um, upper left corner and lower right corner. So I'll move here, then pick a shape. I'll pick this exact shape. I want to reduce the size a bit. Then I'll tap on the check mark. From here, I want to um, use the 3D rotate to to rotate it this way, yeah. Then from here, I want to copy this same shape again. So this is it, I've copied it. Then I'll bring it here. I want to um, rotate it this way. Reduce the size a bit. Then I'll bring it here. From here, I'll copy this shape again. This time around, I'll turn it this way. Uh, I have to make sure that it's straight. So this will do. Then I'll bring it here. Then I'll use um, the position tool to adjust its position. I think this is okay. So from here, I'll pick a square shape. Then I'll reduce the width. I want to make a tiny line looking shape. All right. So from here, I would like to rotate it to 45 degrees. Yeah. Then we will bring it down here. From here, I'll use the eraser to, to clear off some parts. You have to watch closely what I'm doing here. I'm using this to, yeah. So I have to make sure there is no residues left behind. So I'll clear this part off then Tap on my check mark. Yeah, this one is okay. From here, I'll use the shape to, sorry, the position to, to adjust it. Something like this. Yeah, I think this is okay. From here, I would like to change the colors of each of the shapes. Yeah, to give me that mesmerizing effect. I don't know whether, whether you paid close attention to the, um, certif the actual certificate I showed you. So let's move here. Change the color for each of them. I'll use a gradient color, which I have here already. 
Yeah. This is how I made it. Something like this. Yeah. Then I'll tap on the check mark. I'll do the same for the others. Color, enable, gradient, this. This one, I want it to be kind of diagonal so that I'll have the perfect effect. Something like this, yeah. So I'll move to the other one. I'll change the color to this or that. Then tap on the check mark. I'll change the color for this one to This one, I think I have to change it to something like this or that. All right. So this will do. From here, I would want to match all of them. OK, so this is it. Then I'll move it. Let me use this one. First of all, let me reduce the size a bit, then move it here. Yeah, so this is exactly what we are looking for. All right, from here, I'll make a copy of it. Then I'll rotate it. Just like this, then bring it here. Then I'll go on ahead and lock them so that they will not interfere with anything else that I will do. Then from here, I'll pick a square shape. This time around, I'll make it a bit rectangular. Something like this. Yeah. Then I'll add a stroke to it, a stroke of around 15. 15 will do. Then I'll change it for it to have sharp edges. Just like this, then I'll tap on the check mark. From here, I'll move to um, erase color. Then I'll remove the white color from it. I'll increase the tolerance and check mark. I'll increase the size just like this. Let me reduce the stroke a bit from here. I think 12 would do. Yeah. So I'll increase the size. Just like this. I'll make sure that it's centrally placed. Yes. Then I'll make a copy of it. This time around, I'll reduce the size. All right. Then I'll also place this one centrally. Let me increase the size a bit. Yes, this will do. All right. So from here, I'll go on ahead and merge both of it. Then we will send it backward. Let's increase the size a bit. Right. Then make sure it's placed centrally. Let's increase the size. All right. Yes. Then we'll go on ahead and lock it. Then from here, I'll import my logos for the certificate. So I'll tap on any empty space, then tap on import. I'll go to my gallery, then I have the KNUST logo here. Tap on the check mark. Reduce its size. Let me import the other one so that I make sure they are both similar. Oh, this one is okay. I want to make sure they have um, equal sizes. So I'll place them both sideways. All right. So from here, I'll select both of it. I want to place them both centrally. Then I'll tap on this icon here. 
I'll send them to the center, then to the top. That will not be all. I'll use this same icon, then make sure they are placed at the appropriate place. Maybe I would come back, then change the size of it. So from here, I want to add a test. The test of uh, school and the college. So it's all right. Then I'll change it to capital letters. Then tap on the check mark. I would like to change the font. So this is the font I'll be using for the work. Let's move here. Made Tommy regular. This is the font I'll be using. And I want to reduce the size. All right. Then I'll make sure it's centrally placed. I'll bring it up a bit. So, from here, I'll move on and add another test. This test is certificate. It's actually certificate of Anna, but I want to make the certificate stand out. Then I'll move on and pick my font. I'll be using the made Tommy, yeah, but they have different varieties. This time around, I'll be using the medium personal. Oh, yeah. Then I want to um, increase the spacing. Then will be okay. Let me turn on the grid so that placing them centrally won't be difficult. There's it. From here, I'll add another test. Then I'll make it of of Anna. I'll pick the same font, but this time around I'll be using the lighter one, the regular. Okay, yeah. Then I'll be reducing the size. Yeah, this one is okay. I'll place them at the center. I want to increase the size of the certificate to around, um, I think 65 will do. Yes, I'll bring them to the center. Bring it down a bit. Then the Anna too. So from here, I have a couple of tests I want to add, but this time around, I've copied them to my clipboard. So I'll just move on then, pick them from my clipboard. This certificate is awarded to. I'll tap on done. Okay. Then bring it here. This time around, I'll decrease the size. Yes. I'll pick the same fonts I used earlier, which is the Mid Tommy Regular. Then bring it here. From here, I'll move on to shapes. I want to create a line for the name. So I'll pick a square shape. I'll decrease the height, something like this. I want to make a very thin line, so this will do. Let me take a look. Yeah, this one is okay. I'll bring it up, just like this. Then let's move down. Some words of appreciation of Anna, whatever. I have them copied here. So I'll move to my clipboard. Then I'll just enter it then. Voila. This time I'll also decrease the size. Then I'll make the alignment center alignment. I have a line here already, so let me just go in and copy it. Then I'll bring it to the center. From here, I'd like to reduce the width. Think 20. I want to create space for the signatures of the people who will be signing it. 
So I have this one here. I'll make additional two copies. This one is difficult to um, select them, so you have to use the panel there too in order to be able to select it. So I'll bring this one to somewhere here. The first one. I want to make sure they are properly aligned. Yeah. Just like this. Then I think I'll bring them a bit closer. All right. I'll do the same to the other one. Let's move this one again to So there is it. From here I'll go on ahead and select them all. And I'll use this tool here to bring them down, make sure they are centrally placed. Select them again. Use these two, then bring them up a bit. Let's bring them down. This is okay. So from here, I'll go on ahead and lock all of them. So that they will not be interfering with whatever I'll be doing next. With the locking, you can select them or then just use the tools there, something like this. Then lock them all. But since I've done it already, there's no need. Okay, so from here, I want to add the names of the people that will be signing. So I'll add test, edit. I have them at my clipboard. So I'll go there, select it. That's it. Then I'll reduce the size. Yeah. Then we'll make sure it's centrally aligned. Yes. But before that, I'll change the font. Um, I'll use the font I used earlier, which is made to blah. This one, let me use the medium to make it stand out a bit. Then from here, let me start changing the colors to a sitawa because I'll be changing the background color to white. So let me switch it to black then. I'll make a copy of it, edit, then I'll delete it. After deleting, I'll move to my clipboard. Then copy the next one, which is this. Here we go. Then I'll move it here. This one, I'll make sure it's centrally placed. Yeah. Then I'll bring it down a bit. Yeah. I'll make another copy of it. Then I'll edit it, clear. Then choose the next one from my clipboard. Let me adjust it. Okay, so from here I'll change the colors. 
and further let me adjust the test sizes and to make sure they are large enough so this one is okay this one let me reduce it a bit I think 35 yes I'll bring it down a bit exactly then let me adjust this one too this one is cool all right so I think we are done here and let's move to this place then change the background color to white give it so from here I want to um, add the name yeah and I don't have any name in mind so let's just type in first name first name then surname All right then let's change the color I want to use this color this color is from the um, college logo yeah and I want to change the font as well I want to use a stylish font for it so it will look like a handwriting so I think I have um, a specific font here which I would want to use this one hello bride yeah then from here I would like to increase the test size one thirty five it's okay as you can see some of the test is not showing the F in the first is not showing so I'll come to pattern then I'll increase it to ten make sure the right pattern is always equal to the left pattern so that um, whenever you want to place it centrally it wouldn't be um, anything else so let me place it this way then bring it down a bit up, up. yeah this is cool so um, I want to increase the length of the line So here, relative size then this is okay. I'll make sure it's centrally placed. Yes. Then I'll bring this one closer to this okay. From here I want to change the color of the border actually I would be using um, a texture for it so let's go to my gallery then pick a texture I'll be using this one oh let me change the size to something like this yeah then I want to make some changes too so then Okay, I think this will do. So I just tap on it. Then we move on. I also want to clear some part of it. Uh, let's go here. Then move to Eriza. Yeah, I want to clear this part off. So let's move. Yeah right here then you move it up let's move up then move it up let's see the results this is exactly what i want so basically this is it so i want to add um a bit texture or roughness to the background so from here i would want to um import this texture i downloaded let's see if i can find this one then change just like this then increase the size yeah. 
So I covers all of it. From here, we'll send it to the back. Then I'll go on ahead and reduce the opacity to around 35 is okay. When you don't reduce the opacity much, it will be popping after it's been printed. So um, basically, this is a short tutorial. I wouldn't say very short, but a tutorial on how to design a simple certificate. Thank you very much for watching.